Now, Michael Burry's likely been doing this ever since he joined the market, trying to predict the bottom every time something happens and pretty much labeling himself as a perma bear, someone who's always predicting a market crash. Now, if you follow him on Twitter, this isn't anything new. Now, every post he has on Twitter is likely something negative, always trying to predict a market crash. But the weird thing about this is almost every month he deletes his account. Thanks to this thing that we call the internet, we can archive all of these tweets and go back and look at all of them. So no matter what he says, there's always a record of what happened. Now, Michael Burry sort of became a loved figure right after the big short because he was played by Christian Bale. Now, this doesn't mean that Michael Burry's not smart. Like his portrayal in the movies, he actually knows quite a lot about the markets. In fact, he's correct about a lot of things when he talks about the prices of companies being overvalued. But in the recent years with the increase of retail and traders in the market, people sort of think of people like this as a bad guy. See, with every bull, there needs to be a bear. Now, I completely understand why people hate short sellers after the GameStop and AMC fiascos, but this needs to happen in the market. See, there has to be a point where even though things are looking perfect, people have to start poking holes and looking at the fundamental values of companies and the market to make sure that we're actually doing things correctly. But there's a difference between someone like the boy who cried wolf and someone who's actually trying to look into a problem and solve it. For example, in the past few years, there's been a lot of companies that popped up that actually don't provide a product or even revenue and somehow are valued more than some other companies. Look at Nikola or Theramos as an example. Now, both of these companies had dedicated investors hoping that the valuations only doubled and no one was looking at the actual fundamentals of these companies. And this is when we need people like Michael Burry actually calling out stuff like this. See, with every yin, there needs to be a yang, calling out the fundamental flaws of some other companies. And this is when you need to take a step back approach and look at all the companies that you're currently invest in and make sure that you understand all of the negative aspects to them because in a bear market like this those companies that have the most risk will likely get hurt the most so while a lot of these investors are looking for the negative sides of a company it's your job as an investor to make sure that you understand the holistic approach but if you want to see the investment styles of these mega investors like warren buffett and michael burry check out these videos where i go over their 13 f's to find out what they're buying and selling in their portfolios